Hi everyone, I'm Kinsley Rolf. I'm here with our principal, Mr. Bishop, and our student resource officer, Officer Phil. Today we're asking them a brief few questions about school safety. So, Officer Phil, have there ever been any safety incidents at HHS where students have not known about them? We've had a few, nothing too serious, nothing that I could really talk about, but a lot of kids take pride in the school, so if they hear that something's going on, uh, they've come to me so I can go to Mr. Bishop or the assistant principals and try to, you know, uh, stop it from happening. You know, something seriously? No. But, uh, you know, small little incidents that we've had, um, we were able to stop before they actually happened. So it's with the cooperation of the kids. Mr. Bishop, what are some measures you both do to ensure the safety of HHS students? That's a great question. And, and, and we work really closely with the Hopkinton Police Department. Uh, m we had some class meetings last week where we talked about a number of things that we've done from implementing the ALICE protocols. Uh, we've added some interior cameras. Um, each one of the crisis response team members has uh, a walkie-talkie, so they're able to communicate with one another as well as to the fire department and police department. Um, and we have crisis response team meetings as well as district safety meetings once a month. So we're able to talk about our protocols and doing whatever we can to ensure the safety of our students. The big thing is just being visible to everybody, being seen out in the hallways, walking around, uh, driving around, having my cruiser parked right out front. That's not because I'm lazy. It's, it's so <laughs> it's a visible, you know, a police car. So if somebody were to come to the school, it's, it's a deterrent, really. So, but, but just being around, is, it's yep. nice for the kids to see us. What awareness and training do you get from the police department to prepare you for certain incidents that can happen at the school? We all, at the police department and other police officers in different towns, we do active shooter training, which they teach us what to do if there were such an incident. We don't sit back and wait. We go right to the threat and to eliminate the threat. That's our goal. Right? We don't wait outside. We don't wait for backup like the old days we used to. We used to wait for the SWAT team. The SWAT team would take at least an hour to get here. So, you know, um, but we've been trained to just actively go in. We actually have a trailer coming in from the Sheriff's Department where we do some live scenarios and we actually use our firearms and our rifles. So we get a lot of training at HPD. Mr. Bishop, are there anything that you have not yet implemented at HHS to help ensure more safety for the students? The district has a um, three-year safety plan, uh, which we're in the midst of right now. Uh, and so some of the things that I talked about before we've already implemented, uh, we're talking about maybe potentially adding exterior cameras around the campus. Uh, we do have a uh, public safety forum coming up on Tuesday night, March 6th, uh, where we're hoping to get some more feedback from the community. Uh, and we're always asking students and staff for feedback on ways that we can improve. Um, but right now we have the, the, the safety plan um, where we have a few of things that we're looking to add and looking forward to getting some feedback at the forum coming up. So, Mr. Bishop, other high schools around us do not have a booth for check-in like we do. Why do we have one? It's for safety, really. Um, that was one of the things that we talked about in our safety plan. Uh, a few years back, you may remember our, our front doors were the doors as you're coming in by the flagpole. Uh, and it was one door to get buzzed in. And we felt that we wanted to have more of a secure entry in our, in our foyer. So actually, we moved the entrances to the double doors now over by closer to the middle school, where you have to actually get buzzed in twice uh, by uh, Ms. Ziegler, our, our front booth uh, person. Now, I'm not sure what other schools have, but a lot of schools are moving towards some type of checkpoint, or at least multiple checkpoints, before students and staff or any type of uh, adult can enter the building. All five schools have that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it eliminates people from just walking around the hallways. Uh, if somebody forgot their homework or their lunch, they could just leave it off in between the two doors. They don't make it into the second door, so you have less people in the building. Mm -hmm. Anybody that comes to our uh, school, usually who's not a staff member, has to have a visitor pass. And typically, if they have an appointment with an adult, whether it be a teacher or a guidance counselor, we'll know ahead of time. And so we have a document that is shared between front office and guidance when people are coming to visit the building. So we know who's supposed to be here at any given time. And to Officer Phil, how do you become aware of such incidents that can be harmful to many students? Do you go through social media, technology? We receive a lot of information through parents going through their kids' social media. Um, also, just kids coming up to you in the hallways and talking to you about their concerns or, or if they've heard something. So, you know, see something, say something. Question for both of you. Is there anything that you guys would like to tell the entire student body about how you ensure safety for all of us? For me, it, it's about creating a, a positive culture and climate. And that starts with being kind to one another. And I think that uh, we do that very well here. Uh, and as Officer Phil just said, if, if there are concerns that, that you have, 
If you see something, you need to say something. And if you have a trusted adult, go seek them out and, and talk to them if you have concerns. Yeah, and I try to make myself available 24-7. Um, if anybody has any safety concerns, they can certainly call me on my cell phone, 508-922-9034. And if I, don't call you, if I don't answer, I'll get back to you right away. So just call if you have any concerns. Thank you. Probably not going to give my cell phone away, but uh, I'm always an email away if someone wants me. To, <laughs> if you want to email me, but um, you know, I think that it is important to say that there's a lot of things that we focus on here at this high school. We have a lot of great programs. We have wonderful teachers. We have great kids. But the number one goal, in my opinion, is is creating a safe and nurturing environment. Uh, and that comes with being kind to one another and treating each other the right way. And um, if I had to give uh, any type of message to the students, it would be just that. I, I, and if you see something, say something. If you have questions and concerns about anything when it comes to st school safety, his door is always open, my door is always open. We're here to hear your feedback and, and to try to make this school the best that it can possibly be. One fun one to finish off this segment. What is your favorite thing about being a school principal and also being a school resource officer? My guess is it's probably going to be the same thing, and that's it's working with students and having the opportunity to watch students grow and learn um, and, and prepare them for life after high school. Yeah, exactly. And I get to wear a cool uh, outfit here, so I don't have to wear my police uniform, and it's great. So, But, yeah, working with the kids, it's wonderful. Yeah, the staff here, yeah, working with Mr. Bishop. It's a great team. We want to say a big thank you for both of you coming here, and you guys did great. Now back to the Anchor Desk. <laughs> 